Hi guys, welcome to another interesting news. The former Minister of Aviation and Chief Town of the Ruling All Progressive Congress APC, Femi Fanikayode, has lambasted Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja Catholic Akdikis and John Ononye Kong for opposing the swearing in of President elect Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu on May 29. Ononye Kong, in a recent interview with Channels Television, opined that Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu should not be sworn in as president of Nigeria while there is a court challenging the legitimacy of the February 25 polls. Reacting to the claim in Facebook, Femi Fanikai or the condemned on a new comment with some strong words. He wrote that to Cardinal John Onanyeko and those that share his views that the swearing in of our president elect should be, should be postponed until after the election tribunal has delivered its judgment, I said the following. The Nigerian people have spoken and the deep state conspiracy to stop Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunumbu from becoming the president has failed long time ago. We are well past that stage and you cannot stop a moving train. Those that have added their hearts and that have refused to accept God's will and adomination to let Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu and the Nigerian people to go shall like Pharaoh perish before our own very eyes. Those that are filled with bitterness, hate, fury and rage and rage and that seek to pursue us into the Red Sea as we make our way to the promised land shall be drowned by the Red Sea. Whether they like it or not, God willing, the president elect shall be sworn in on May 29th, and those that want him dead or wish him ill shall see their grave long time before he does. It has also been reported recently that Femi Fanikai Odi said it will be the first time in our history that a true progressive and reformer with a clear and in depth understanding of what needs to be done will hold and control the levers of power in our nation. And after a few months, I will have no doubt that the difference will be clear and it will make an extraordinary impact. He said further, isn't it amazing that the light of our president-elect is shining all over the planet today and his glory resonates through the world. By the power of God and against all odds, he did the impossible by taking on not just a very taxing, aggressive, strong and effective opposition, but also the Nigerian deep state and emerged victorious. Today, like Louis XIV, the Sun King, and the greatest of all French monarchs, he is the sun around whom everything and everyone evolves. It gives me immense joy and pride to say so. Today, just as the planet revolves around the sun, mortals revolve around him and, the, and his star shines brightly. It is undoubtedly his moment, and he has certainly worked hard for it and earned it. Most importantly, God has granted him his grace and mercy, quoted him with favor, honored him and power, honored him with power and given him the crown. Femi Fainikai of the Father said, This is the doing of the Lord, and this is marvelous in our sight. Despite all he has put he has been put through during before and after the election, all the malicious lies that have been told about him, he has come out of it with a kind, forgiving and charitable heart. He is not only magnanimous in victory, but he has also reached out to his most virulent critics, distractors and enemies by publicly urging and appealing to them to join hands with him to move the nation forward. This is stuff of which leaders and great men are made. It takes courage, strength and honor and fortitude to be forgiven and to seek to tread the path of love, unity, and peace. After the 29th of May, it will be, pres it will be president of all Nigerians, both male and female, friend and foe, and what a great wise and mighty leader he will be. A new chapter will be opened in the book of our nation, and refreshing and productive era will begin. Like the biblical king Cyprus, Bola Ahmed Tunubu will build the broken walls of our country and establish a new strong foundation of peace, love, unity, prosperity, honor, and glory. 
it will be the first time in our history that a true progressive and reformer with a clear and in-depth understanding of what needs to be done will hold and control the levers of power in our nation. And after a few months, I have no doubt that the difference will be clear and it will make, the under, it will make an extraordinary impact. What I have learned from his example is never to give up or be deterred no matter what stands in your way, no matter how deep the conspiracy to undermine you and shatter your aspiration and dreams may be. When the story about the obstacles that were to put you in his way, even those close to him is told, it will shock and amaze many. Yet that story is for another day and perhaps may, may never be shared until after he has completed his eight years in office. For now, it is suffice to say that we followed the great leader and warrior into battle and blindly came out victorious and unshattered. He led us with courage and strength and never faltered even in the darkest hour. At every turn and point in faith, in himself, his team, in God, and the Nigerian people kept us going and inspired us. What a great man this is and what a great difference he will make to, to the fortunes of our nation and our people. Thanks be to God. Glory be to Nigeria. Femi Fanikayode the director, director of Special Media Projects, Special Media Operation, and New Media of the Tunubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council said. Femi Fanikayodo is the former Minister of Aviation and Chieftain to the All Progressive Congress, Lamblasted Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja Catholic Archdiocese, and John Anone Comfort opposing the swearing in of President elect Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu on May 29. In an interview with Chinese television, Onone Kong opined that Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu should not be sworn in as the president of Nigeria, where there is still case issue in the court challenging the legitimacy of the February 25 polls. Femi Fanikayode has also told him that it cannot do anything about it and it can never stop the swearing in of Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu. He also made it clear that the Nigerian people have spoken and the deep state conspiracy to stop Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu from becoming the president has failed a long time ago. He also made it clear that anybody who tried to stop Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu from becoming the next president of Nigeria, just like Pharaoh in the Bible, shall fall into the Red Sea. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And please let us know your thoughts concerning Femi Fanny Skyodi's statements. Bye for now.